shedding pretty soon. May 2nd. Ooh, look at that sandwich Chantel has made. And she can't eat it because she's sick, and it's hour one. Look at it. Look at she can't even eat that. Look at what it looks like. No, it's as soon as I have to go inside. It's hot and stuffy in there, and you can't see. It makes you feel queasy. Yeah, you can. I'm out here. I'm okay. Maybe go sit on the fly bridge. <sighs> yeah. Get lots of air. Just tacking our way out of Banderas Bay. Wednesday, May 4th today, we've been making pretty good speeds all night. we maintaining about eight knots. That suck five knots a couple times, but other than that, going pretty good. How's it going up here? Good, we're okay. talking about family history. What kind of speeds are we doing? Um, seven knots now. Still seven? Ten, ten knots of true wind. And this is our first reading today. It's not a true 24 hours because we left at 6.30 in the afternoon. And this is taken at noon today. And drum roll. So the mileage for the last hour, this is a minute. Andrew, you guessed what? No, it's not. For the last hour. day? Okay. But what did you guess? Well, I guess 162. Hi, Leanne. Guess what? No, guess 152. Okay. And they'll get in there for the unveiling. Okay. And uh, drum roll. We will, we will be able to write 155 miles on oh, the nose. I was close. I was close too. So she was a winner. I was five away and Chantel was three away. Nice. Oh. Good. Yeah. Nice. So we've got 264 miles. Yeah, that's what my Garmin says, and it misses Garmin's two hours. Our and our average speed is the last 24 hours. 43.5 hours. 43.5 hours. Yeah. Our average speed is 6.07. Oh, we're, not, we're there. And that we're includes there. our slow motor and stuff out of Bender, Daris Bay. They're leaping out of the water coming to see us. Woohoo! Here they come! <laughs> Hi guys! And of course we're going the slowest we did all day right now. coming behind us. Right now we're not on course. We're going more north than we need to just so we don't have any accidental jiving happening. But as soon as we get the parasailer on, we'll be able to go our heading. We need about 223 so we're a little bit off where we need to be. Chantel's helping rigging up the line. Pull a bunch through and put it Got a lot of overcast out here. Uh oh. I haven't unlocked it yet. Oh, lockers are still locked. There we go. Putting up the parasailer, so now I have somebody else doing the winch ripper workout. Go, Chantel, go! Hey, 
parasailer once again up. 3.30 in the afternoon. That took almost just under two hours to put up. Let's see if we can fly it or if we're going to get stormed on here. There's Chantal making her banana muffins. And melting. It's so hot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sweaty too. No, no recipe needed. Mom and I have made enough muffins in our life to know how it goes. Yeah. I'd say that, that oven's about 350 probably. You need to put like three more muffins in there. Yeah. There they are. Okay, there's our day today. It's day number what today, Chantel? Uh, five? We just finished day five. Finishing. Day oh, right, day five because it, it's about day five now because we started at 4.30. There's our temperature. Parasailer is up. There's Andrew doing something up there. And there's our parasailer in our cloudy days. But it's protecting us from being sunburnt. And that noise you hear is the fan in here. We have hatches open. And we have and we have fans on. And we're still sweating. Good morning, the 8th of May. And we're doing a little bit of fixing of the boat. I'll just go out and show you because there's so much wind blowing. I can't really talk out there. So I'll just gonna show you what Andrew's doing this morning. Uh, 8 a.m. Okay, Andrew, if you get really low, you can tell the people what's going on. The rope that trims the mainsail has chafed. The inner core is still good, but the outer core needs to be repaired. So I'm going to do a whipping twine fix on it. I'll reinforce the splice with threads running lengthwise and then whip it, use the whipping twine over it to hold it all. It should go through the lock and everything this chafe because of the spin lock just eats the rope. It's a little thick for that spin lock, I think. Okay. We've had some pretty good wind all night. It was actually higher than that. It was in the high teens. And so we're making good headway. And now we're able to go to our direction. And finally, we have a little bit clearer weather. We've had really good seas on this crossing not very big but yesterday was pretty cloudy all day we had drizzled on it actually last night washed our dirt off of our stays and washed it down onto the deck Chantel was wondering how the dirt was gonna come off and I said when it rains and there it is very very blue water ink blue this morning I already made a quiche my quiche Here's my quiche. We have eggs to use up. Uh, these are our last flat of the old eggs. And so we've been eating lots of eggs this week. Here's our stats today on the days and the weather and the humidity. And our view for the day. And the sun sets on the end of day number seven on our Pacific crossing. We've done over a thousand nautical miles and our average speed is over six knots, 6.08 so far. We've got lots of clouds. Seems to be lots of clouds and we have put down all the sails because the wind has disappeared. Engines are on like the doldrums, but we're not at the doldrums yet. I think we're 10 degrees north right now. And it's, I'm on the first watch from 6 till 9 p.m. And good night, May the 11th, 2022. Let's redo that. And good night, May 9th. 2022, in the middle of the Pacific.